We are back. I am back. I'm real. I would show you my pre-cardio stack. So, um... Fruit. Because I'm not, I'm not carving up without raspberries. Ah. Uh, hey. I'm very fucking aggy. The, the tanky is cranky. <laughs> First coat of tan has been lovingly applied. Thanks, Butte. Chocolate orange way. 391 is the lucky number. <laughs> Got a fucking sword in it. What do you reckon, Cor? Oh yay! This is what you do when you win an overall. Good morning. <clears throat> we are back. I am back. Due, to, I'm going to say due to popular demand. Because <laughs> we're so popular. Because we're so moment. popular and everyone wants us to vlog. So. This weekend, I am doing my, God, look very skull face. This weekend, I am doing my first two bros regional of the year. Whoop! I've not told anyone about this. Everybody else thinks I'm still two weeks out from PCA. Because otherwise there'd be a, an enormous amount of paparazzi. I know, can you imagine the paparazzi? Global presence, GBC But I just don't, I just don't want the pressure, so fuck it. So, my original plan, was to compete in the region on the 28th of May, but I've decided instead I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm ready now to do regional, and the earlier I get it done, the better. It gives me more options going forward, so that's what we're doing. So, hitting the regional up this Saturday, so one of the suggestions on my stories for vlog was around lead up to shows, prep and sort of how we prepare for shows and because me and Corey do our own tan thought it would be quite appropriate and good to start doing that now today is Thursday talking through to you what we're going to do over the next couple of days show you how we do tan show you what I'm going to pack in my bag for Saturday and just take you on the ride with me so hold on I'm real. Yeah, baby, look good. So, check-in complete. So, Corey's just having a look over my check-in video and just making a bit of an assessment on what to do, really. So, the aim of this show, <clears throat> we're not peaking for it. I think um, we, we're we not aim. This isn't, this isn't the main show for me. Like, this is a regional so that I can qualify to do international shows and go for pro qualifiers. And we're still in the realms of pushing for conditions. So, it's really important that... I continue to push for condition and essentially don't waste a week's worth of time potentially peaking for a show when I could be spending that time getting in condition. So that that's where we're at um, and it sounds like today we're going to keep cardio in as normal. Like I'm coming in quite quickly now and the condition is coming in fast and we do want to capitalise on that. My weight is down again by 0.2 and a half today um, and I, look, I do look good. Um, and so I think the plan is to keep cardio in today, train as normal, keep food as normal, and then tomorrow likely pull all cardio, pull all, um, pull all any gym work um, apart from posing, and then we'll push carbs in tomorrow, and then we'll also do the same on Saturday morning before the show. So I think that is the plan. But just thought while he's having a look at that, I would show you my pre-cardio stack. So um, 
something I'm super transparent about and cover on my um, trekking weekly uh, videos that I do on Instagram and YouTube. Um, but I have half an IU growth and I take that fasted <clears throat> about half an hour before my cardio. Just allow it to mobilise um, and in the off season I actually split this and take half in the morning, half in the evening. But in prep I just take half and I take it fasted for that reason. Now I also have 80 milligrams of clen. This has been titrated up from 20 to 40 to 60 to 80. And 10 milligrams of yohimba. Now some people might think oh that's a lot or some people might think oh that's not a lot. Now. With your himbine, um, this is calculated at 0.2 meg per kilogram of person. So I'm 60 kilo, so my peak dose um, would be up to 12. Now, I'm not going to take 12, I take 10. Um, started off at 5, and that's been titrated up to 10. It's important that people understand what peak dosing is and where you can potentially push things to if necessary, but it's all on a needs basis. And right now, that's where my needs are, that's where my body's responsive, that's where I'm feeling good. And my stress is, <clears throat> to be honest, pretty low. So that is that is my stack. So I'm going to take those. Um, I'm going to make my EAAs. And I'm going to go and do my cardio. And I will catch up with you guys later. Show you uh, the tanning process and everything else that we get up to today in terms of packing ready for the show. We've got a knock at the door. How'd it go? Yeah, good. You have supplies, I see. I have fruit. Fruit? Because I'm not, I'm not carving up without raspberries. Ah. Oh, yay. You have to be able to carve up first, mate. And I've got, that's it really, eggs. Oh, ah, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> so I'm just about to make my meal too, but thought I would just run you through <clears throat> protocol, what we do in terms of peaking. I say peaking, obviously we're not peaking but in terms of what we do for natural diuretics so i don't take any harsh diuretics just natural diuretics and build them up through the back half of the week before going to the show so i am now it's thursday so i'm two two days out so at two days out i take vitamin c thousand milligrams with every meal so that's six thousand milligrams today and then dandelion root around 500 milligrams um, tablets, these are 520, one in each meal, so that's 3,000 milligrams. So it's not necessary to use harsh diuretics. If you're lean and you, um, you're you in condition, you do not need to use harsh diuretics to try and bring you into a show. You actually need a little bit of water. Your, your body needs water to be able to absorb your carbohydrates within your muscles and your glycogen stores. So when people over diuretic, they actually come in very flat the food doesn't work as it's supposed to, but people don't understand this, so they often over diuretic. Now, for, for somebody like myself, as long as I'm coming in in condition, using natural diuretics like these just to flush additional excess water out of the system, out of the body, is more than enough. So these are built up over the course of three days, including on show day as well. So tomorrow, these again will be a little bit more. And then on Saturday, um, I will continue taking these through the day up until standing on stage. So my meal too is unfortunately zero carbohydrates. I've got 100 grams of greens, I've got broccoli and green beans, and then I've got mince. Now, you'll see that that mince is pre-made and has got sauce in it. Now, that we use like a dolmio or like a chili low-fat sauce. Now, a lot of people like when they peak and a lot of coaches say, oh, pull out all spices and all sauces because I don't know why. Like, it's not necessary. If you've been taking these spices and these sauces on your food consistently all the way up until your show and they're measured like we use one pot one jar of sauce for a, a, a kilogram of mince like we know how much is in each portion so that's consistent all the time and unless it's about pulling calories down and pulling it out to pull calories out it's not necessary to pull out sauces and spices because if they've worked for you all this time and you've got lean taking them and your body's responding why you've been taking them, why in peak week do people think, oh, you need to pull these out? So unless it's to pull the three, four, five calories out of that meal that you're that you're about to eat, which is probably not the case in peak weeks, actually you start to feed somebody and not pull them back. Like it doesn't really make any sense. So a little bit of a food for thought, like if you are taking out spices and sauces in peak week, like I don't know why you would do that. It's not necessary at all. Whew. 
I look rough, mate. Diet face. So, not a lot to update you on, really. I had my last training session of the week. So, while we're not peaking me, it's still Thursday and I've trained legs now. We've taken a D volume approach to legs. I am feeling pretty tired and we don't want to drive massive amounts of fatigue, but obviously we're still training. So we have implemented a deload session tonight. So it was five exercises. I did one set of 12 to 15 on everything. Come home, still on my low food. I've just had my post workout, which is simply just um, vegan whey. That is literally what I have a post-workout at the moment. And then in about an hour after I've had a bath, I'll have my final meal. And then we are going to do my tan. Now I am bathing so that because I've still got remnants of tan that you may be able to see from last weekend. So I'm hoping that with a bath, I can soak a lot of that off and just be a little bit fresher for my first coat of tan. So the plan is... First coat of tan will go on tonight. That's just a base coat. And tomorrow we will wash that off completely. And then tomorrow evening we'll put another base coat of tan on and that will stay on. And then Saturday morning we'll top coat me. So we'll show you a little bit of that. But that is the plan. Um, I'm currently actually just sat at my laptop um, setting up somebody new ready for tomorrow which is quite exciting as well so just having a look at their diet and drafting that up so that's pretty cool so we'll keep you posted we'll show you the tan and um hope it's interesting that's grim dirty tan bath water First coat of tan has been lovingly applied by Corey. So this is what we use two days before the show. A full coat of this all over the body and this gets washed off tomorrow. Leave this on overnight, wash it off the day before the show and the day before the show put another coat on and leave that on for show day morning and then you put your top coat on. Looking rather orange with white feet Ooh. hopefully it looks a little bit better than this in the morning <coughs> good night so I've been kicked out of bed to get Mads' checking done and to get her some food and she's been drying her hair for the past half an hour logic Prep brain is a real thing. She's finished. How are you getting on, babe? Good. Get your checking done and get you some food, shall we? Ah. When do you want to do that? Do you want to do that now? Yeah. Okay. Finally. I ended up cooking and saw my locks out. 40 minutes. Come on. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. We go for a walk. Are we? Careful because you're going to hurt yourself. Careful. All right, I'll be in there. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That's the dog mat. So when it's really hot, it's like an oven and they lie on it in the sun. Right, come on now. Come on, Spice. Are those quads awake or are they just flat and super depleted? Flat and shit. Uh, that's positive. <coughs> come on now. Nice. Yep. Good. Good. 
So as Mads is posing, instead of me saying good, I'll give you an idea as to what we're actually looking at. So the plan initially for Mads post GBO, which was a random show we were going to do, the Universe, we were then going to do the Two Bros Qualifier the week after, two weeks after, and then go to Alicante. However, the idea is for Mads, apart from the fact that it's wicked today, super flat but wicked, was to go instead do the two, bro, two bros qualify this weekend. You look really good. Okay. Happy. Let's get some food. So, GBO last weekend it was a random show. We hopped in, but we wanted to make sure that Mads had some stage time and was uh, was warm, so to speak. So, I'm going to stay out here because the dogs are fucking attack me. So, we were going to do the universe in two weeks but I thought it made sense due to the fact that there's another pro qualifier in Poland so the idea for this week has been to flatten her out as much as possible guys there is no condition without flatness um, and the realization is Mads being what was initially three weeks out at GPO last week Mads was three three weeks out from her initial first planned show of the year she obviously wasn't going to be in the conditioning that she's going to be in for the universe. However, to bring condition, we have to we have to drive flatness. We have to we have to get in the trenches. So that's what we've been doing this week. And although this week is this weekend is an important show, we want to be in a position where we can make as much progress leading up to it as possible. So we haven't taken the usual de-fatigue and back off steps that we usually would and we can talk about that obviously in in videos and peaks to to move forward the pca peak so to speak will be very very different where we'll really be driving down fatigue and driving down stress on your body but this week we haven't really got that choice because we are limited on time so we're going to get her some food today so we're going to fill her up today a tad um then fill her up tomorrow, leading into the show, um, and then get back to, back to business, ready for two weeks to PCA. He's back. Can't worry, Jaya. Whoa. I didn't walk because rest day for me. Well, I eat, but as Corey's still gone for a walk with the doggies, I've lovingly made his breakfast. Mm. And then a miniature version for me. Oi oi. Hello Mabel. Here it is. I'm going to compete tomorrow. Show me. Now tense. I am. This is going to be on the vlog. Yeah, that's fair. Come here, Lou. <laughs> How many dogs did you attack today? How many dogs did you attack? Oh, go. <laughs> Time to eat. <laughs> Come on. Take two. Hello. I'm going to be on death row if I carry on winding madly in this but... I'm very fucking aggy. The, ta the tanky is cranky. <laughs> I'm fucking exhausted and hungry and tired. Oh. And Corey's whining me. Goodness. Do my, nails. my nails are so bad. Right, turn it off. All right. So, as you can hear, I'm still not very well, but I'm persisting through, and I'm going to stand on stage anyway. Didn't indicate Fuck you fucking dipshit. Fuck's sake. I'm going to see Marnie. Well, I'm not going to see Marnie, but I'm going to pose with Marnie. So we're just on the way to Crayford. Corey's training. I'm obviously not training. I'm chilling. Pussy. But I'm training. I'm um, I'm posing with Marnie, so I've got a live session with Marnie. So I've got my heels, I've got my bikini on, my posing bikini, and I've got the tripod. So I'm going to be posing with Marnie in the posing room at Crayford while Corey is training, which is super exciting. Marnie's been working with me for I want to say like a month, um, maybe like four weeks, three four weeks, mm -hmm. um, and every week 
we do an assessment or a live session and she's just transformed me from basic like okay I know my poses to adjusting all my mandatories to us putting a little routine together all my transitions and like I wouldn't be without her she's given me a new lease of life and confidence and she's amazing at what she does so hats off to Marnie if anyone needs any posing wellness or bikini PCA or two bros or any other federation for that matter go and speak to Marnie um, on Instagram or through the posing portal she's very 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 good she knows exactly what she's looking at she's got a lot of experience been to the Arnold's in America she's been to the Arnold here and she goes to literally every show she knows what she's looking at so yeah she's um she's wicked but that's the plan my obviously you will have seen that I had a nice bagel thing for breakfast meal two was just a normal um, mince 100 grams of mints, 100 grams of greens, that's it. And then my next meal, which I will show you because it's a nice creation, is gonna be cream of rice. So I will have some carbohydrates for meal three, which is very exciting. Um, and I am drinking three liters of water today. So I've water loaded as we usually would for a peak week throughout the week. So that's gone up by half a liter a day. And yesterday I finished at six and a half liters. So today we half that down to three. Um, and then tomorrow we'll trickle around 200 million with each meal. Now, that is basically it. I'm looking forward to this. I think I'm gonna time lapse it so you can see me posing. You don't wanna watch it all, but a little time lapse video might be cool. So I'll insert that here and um, catch up with you later amongst the bowl of creme de la rice. <laughs> yeah, will do. Thanks, Beau. See you later, babe. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, thank you. Posing with Marnie, complete. I'm on the way home now and I'm going to eat. I've got a bowl of cream rice, so I'm going to show you it, but first I'm going to check in. So when we get back, I'm going to check in, then I'm going to eat a bowl of cream rice, then we're going to see how much more carbs I'm going to eat today. We're not really sure at this point in time. We estimated like three meals of around 30 grams a meal, but we this may be more. Um, after posing my money, I was just flat. super flat, super quick, and I feel pretty drained so it's probably beneficial to push a little bit more so that's probably what we're going to do but we're going to check me in then i'm going to eat probably leave it an hour then check in again before we have to go to registration because we've got to do that and then keep you posted we'll go from there sticky toffee pudding cream of rice 100 grams of fruit 10 grams of dark chocolate and Chocolate orange way. Oh yeah. Enjoy. Corey needs a wee. Yeah. We're just pulling up to Braywick for registration. I'm a big boy now, I don't, I don't wee myself anymore. So, Corey just asked me if you should go for a wee in the car park or go inside well, and I, I said well seeing as though we're here maybe you should just go inside well I wasn't sure if you princess would be able to stand on your own two feet for 30 seconds and you weren't going to fall over that's why wow. I asked if you'd prefer wow we've got all these competitors oh look at everyone here for registration Woo! you don't know don't know. Fight, you... Fighting talk do we take, by sleep. Do we take the spectators in with us? Um, I don't really mind, Max, to be honest with you. Wow. Oh. Do you want to come in? Do you want to come in and see no. registration? Oh, wait, in the car. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to our. I'm talking to the fans. I wouldn't let you go in. Hi, Mum. Um, I wouldn't let you go in on your own either. Ever. Anywhere. Ooh. Anyway. Come on in. Come on in, let's go. Let's, let's fucking, fucking have it. Completed it, mate. So I turned pro. It was a feat, but I got it. Pro card is in. Focus. It's not focusing. I told you it'd be 391, didn't I? 391 is the lucky number. Do you reckon, Cole? Oh, game on, yeah. Game I'm on. 
game on. Now it's time to eat after Corey's been gassing for like an hour. Ugh. In a box. Do you know Food. what? The thing is, I've just got so many friends and fans and everyone. Well, you got to remember is it's not about you. Oh, is it not? Oh. We actually turned up and Ian said, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> to Corey. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing women's bikini tomorrow. And he was like, I didn't see cunt on the register. <laughs> but no, it's there, just check. No, no, the other one. Ah. And apparently I've grown. I'm no longer five foot one and a half. Apparently I'm five foot two and a bit. Lie to me. News. Off. News to me. Anyway, gonna go and eat and take some more paracetamol and hopefully I wake up in the morning like a new woman. I think I need some uh, antibiotics, but we just keep rolling. Roll on through. Orange.com Let me take that from you From your weary arms How's the, how's the angle, Max? <clears throat> Bit higher God, like shit You right there? Bit higher That's not really working No, you fucking do it Whoa. What do we reckon? Orange or what? Orange I am about to eat another bowl of cream of rice. Day made. Day made. And then I'm going to paint my nails. And we're ready, aren't we, Cor? Well, I'm ready. I've been ready for weeks. So. Cor's ready. He's got a six pack. He registered for the show earlier. Fuck it. What the worst that can happen? Well, what's the worst that can happen? I'll just give it a go. I thought, I couldn't improve on last last time, didn't you? I thought, fuck okay, it, I might as well do it with you. I'm heavier than last time I stood on stage. There you go. Stage weight is up. So, technically, technically I've progressed. I've progressed. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. Then I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you all in the morning. Is that nice? Yeah, mate. They look nice. I always think it looks like shit. How do you feel about me taking control of your camera like this? I mean, I can't look much worse. It doesn't really matter what angle you go from. That's Scorsese, brother. Mmm. Yeah. I'll put through tomorrow. I've got a new bikini to wear tomorrow. Fresh one. But you'll see it on Instagram before you see it on this video, so... What's the plan tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. What get up. Do? Eat. Get up. Check in. Uh -huh. Eat carb meal. Yeah. Probably. Very much likely. Mm -hmm. Do my top coat of tan. Mm -hmm. Pat my brow. And then. And then go see Danielle Spencer to do my makeup. I thought I was doing your makeup. No. Eat another carb meal. And then? Eat another carb meal. And then? Stand on stage. And then? Clean up. And then? Overall champ, yeah? Overall champ, yup, yup. Yup. Magic. And then I'm going to eat a burger. Or a burger? Might be a burger. Okay, cool. Or maybe... Nando's. Mm-hmm. I don't really want one of these big fucking dirty cookie things. I just want like a meal. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like a meal. You'd like a meal? Okay. Sorry I missed uh, 100 grams of carbs a meal. Mm-hmm. Not, not enough for you. You're not satisfied, do you? Skinny boy, huh? Skinny boy. Here it is. Right, do you want to sign off? Yeah. Good night. Who's joined me in the check-in pants? Show me for a little then. Mm-hmm. Show me something. Oh, look at the cord on him. Good morning from a very orange mad bish. Quite lean though, I think. Very lean. Give me a vacuum. The contents. Yeah, right. Oops. 
anyway, check in. Corey's checking in with me. He just, Come on in. He just couldn't handle it. So we're doing yeah. it together. Hold out here. Russian. I'm still ill. Show must go on. That's what we say in it, Carl. Show must go on, Do you want to go first so you can get warm? Uh, yeah. Maybe you can see a bit of Corey. Maybe you're all bored of seeing my bish. Don't you? Oh, look at the boy. Yeah. Stay tuned. That work. Yeah. So. Chicken bits are good, but it's not about Slee, it's about the tank. We're going to see the tank now. Robe me, robe me, baby. Cool. So, let's see it. Right. Right, so. Way better. So much better. It's alive. A fire. Literally crazy. Good. Much. Your, yeah. Far more woken up. Different girl. Better. Yeah. She's on. Show me that um, sign off from the front. Yeah. Sign Just oh. your sign off from the front, yeah. So. Nice. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you can eat, you can have a meal. Oh. Would you like your robe back? Yeah, well, then, let's get you some food, B. So, gang, you got a slee on the, uh, slee on the old tube for now. Um, update is Mads is one point. I think 1.1 kilos down, show morning to show morning. So, in terms of what we're trying to achieve specifically, just to give you a little bit of context, it is to continue to drive in condition, and that's a great, that's a great marker. We we've ran pretty much close to the same protocol that we did last week. Understanding that Mads, although she's about to stand on stage, isn't where we want her to be because we we understand the level that we are going to be coming up against in these pro qualifiers which is fundamentally where we need to be focusing our energy and effort um and the level of conditioning and size and muscle and quality of athlete that we're going to be facing is is very very high but that's what you need to appreciate when you're when you're attempting to become the best in the world or something that top one percent you need to bring top one percent quality so time. yeah and that takes time so our our main aim over the past couple of weeks <coughs> yesterday it was uh yesterday last week it was to get some stage time get warm get get her get her back on back back in her heels and back on stage this week is it's about improving on that um and and just getting better, but not only that, getting the the ticket so we can start um, start competing abroad, etc. Which is how the IFBB works. So, for any of you who don't know, you have to do a regional qualifier in your own country. Fundamentally, spend money in your country's federation um, before you're allowed to travel abroad and go for any pro qualifiers. You can also obviously do a pro qualifier in the UK. So. Yeah, we're a kilo down this week. This morning's protocol is going to be very, very simple. She has got. I'm surprised it's still there. To be fair, is that Sharon? So she's got. She's got the same breakfast again. Keeping it super simple. Everything this morning has been exactly how her morning has been for the past. How long she's been dieting? 
12, 13 weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, morning sludge has gone in. You all know what that is. If you're OGs and you've watched previous videos, if you don't, go back and watch. Mm. Um, morning saps have gone in. There's been no change to her assistance um, at this time, purely and simply because, again, we, we are still trying to progress. And although today isn't going to be a day where she grows half a kilo of muscle or loses half a kilo of fat, um, the consistency is what brings the consistency. So people trying to do this voodoo magic and, and eat different food sources, do, <clears throat> do different things, causes instability in the body, which fundamentally will not bring the best package on stage. So it's been a very, very normal normal morning so far, apart from the fact that she looks like an umpa um, but she is very, very much on the money. So today, just simple process, a little bit of food consistently dripped through over the next three meals. Um, we know what she looks like after those three meals because we've seen her on stage last week, but she's a kilo lighter, so we're expecting a harder, um, harder and fuller package um, today. And uh, and I'm I'm sure it'll be enough to get the job done, but we can't we can't ever confirm who we're going to be standing next to and who's going to turn up on the day. So it's just for Mads about turning up and looking the best she possibly can, um, and then we roll. But we're going to get it stuck into breakfast and we'll catch you on the flip side. On the way. I've done my hair, I'm trying not to put it behind my ears and make a mess of it. So, plan is. Mm, Does that make a mess of it? Well, I'll put kinks in it, won't it, from around my ears. Oh, really? Corey's repping his new merch. Looking like Dennis the Menace. <laughs> We're on the way to see Danielle Spencer to do, because I've already done it though, habit, to do my makeup. Because um, I can't go on stage looking all like orange and patchy. And, uh, oof. Rough, mate. Rough. Good Feeling a little bit better. Did forget my paracetamol though, so I'm going to have to um, purchase some more. But um, on the way to see Danielle, we are looking a little bit ahead of schedule, which for us is very, very, very rare. I can't lie. Um, but in my get up, in my. Uh, Bow slacks. Go and see Danielle, get my locks done. Maybe I'll do one of those reels that everyone does where they go like that. Locks done. Yeah. Um, and that's it really, it's all I've got to update you on. Here's my lucky number. Oh, I've lost it. Shit. I think I'm sat on it. So shit. What is wrong with me? Oh, it's here. <laughs> I nearly forgot my robe as well, but we went right back for it. But I've got my shoes, I've got my bikini, which is all that really matters, let's be honest. Are you going to do a checklist? I will do a checklist. I was going to show people in my bag. Okay. So, okay. but I was going to do that when I packed, but Spoiler I was busy. Spoiler alert. So, maybe when we get there and I open my bag, I'll show you everything in my bag. That's what I'll do. See, that's really not give, give me grief. And I've eaten today. I had a bagel thing for breakfast, a two pieces of bacon and an egg, which is normal for me. Uh, apart from usually I don't have the bagels, so welcome to addition. 22 grams of carbs, thank you. And then meal two, I had 30 grams of cream rice, 10 grams of dark chocolate, 10 grams of whey, because we don't need the protein today, we just need to process the carbs, that's why. And 100 grams of fruit, raspberries and blueberries, and I have exactly the same for my next meal. And I've got sticky toffee pudding cream or ice with chocolate mint whey. Do you yeah. think that's a good combo? No. I don't like sticky toffee pudding anyway. Uh, uh, it's fucking bangs. To be honest, when you've hardly eaten them for fucking ages, <laughs> anything is nice, to be honest, so we'll go for it. So that's the plan. I'll show you that meal. It looks a bit shit now because it's in a piece of tub when it's gone cold, but you know, we'll eat it anyway. Um, and then I get on stage at one o'clock. So, Makeup. when I go backstage, should I take the camera or should you take the camera? No, you can take the camera. I take the camera. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take the camera. Oh, do you mean so I can film you on stage? So you can film me. Why don't you take it backstage then? I'll just come around and grab it. Good idea. We'll do both. That's what we'll do. We'll do yeah, both. That makes sense. Tanned look. Got pinky nails though. Can you guess what colour my bikini is? That's a posh job. Anyway. <laughs> See ya. Cream of rice time. And I think that looks pretty fucking nice to be fair. 
Sitoff pudding chocolate mint is a bit of a weird combination. I wasn't going to go for it, but then I have to half my uh, half my protein, and I'd already made it from my earlier meal, so I was like, it's like I'm stuck with it now. First world problems. First world problems. Anyway, I'm about to eat this. Just thought I'd show you. Glamorous life on prep. You wait all this time to eat some carbs, and you have to eat them cold in the fucking car. It's a bit of a liberty, really. But it's all nice, all the same. We're in a very nice area. It's very nice around here. And it's a lovely day actually, so we'll get some nice photos outside, won't we, Claw? Yeah, we will, Max, yeah. Yeah, we will, yeah. yeah. Then makeup time. Anyway. What do we reckon? Danielle's a fucking G. How good is that? That is a transformation, isn't it? I did the whole thing as well, so you'll see that on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, unreal. Danielle Spencer. Nicest girl as well, so nice. Unreal, I'm never doing my makeup myself ever again um i was gonna take the camera in i thought corey had hold of it but we didn't we left it in the car whoops but i'll see her at the pca show so i'll get her on the camera then but yeah unreal she's done a fucking unbelievable job and yeah super grateful lovely lovely girl if anyone is competing send danielle spencer a message on instagram she's fucking unbelievable so going to the venue now Gonna go and put my bikini on, do a few rounds of posing, move the food around a little bit, and then, um, and then it will be a show time. I'm excited. I'm buzzing. Do you think I look good, babe? I think you're fucking unreal. Do I look fit? So fit. Okay. Lucky to have you. Yeah, you are lucky. Yeah. Drive. Drive. Thanks, babe. Right, Chauffeured today. He's looking after me. Very impressed with your makeup. You fucking nailed it. Cheers, babe. What a nice day. What a time. What a nice day. Yeah, on Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We are here. I was going to call it the prestigious Braywick, but let's not get too excited. <laughs> the venue. Very impressed with your makeup. Corey's going to get his ticket. I'm going to go backstage. And then we're going to do some little videos and photos outside. Okay. Hello mate. Good, nice to see you. Thank you, nice to see you. Good luck today. You're, I didn't know you were competing. Yeah, it was a bit of a last minute thing, but you know, thought yeah. might as well jump in now. It's done then, isn't it? Thank you, mate. Got a fucking sword in it. What do you reckon, Cor? Oh yay! Bagman over there. Ooh 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 ooh! I might cut my Nando's up with this. Yeah, really nice feedback as well. Do you know what? I'm um, yeah, I'm super gassed. I'm super happy. I had. Uh... It's funny because I think the key has been zero pressure. Like, I've just come in. I've just enjoyed myself, and like, I feel like. I feel like it's happening because I'm just relaxing, I'm enjoying myself and like I'm so happy but like, I've worked so, f so, so hard over the last 18 months, it makes us a little bit emotional but like I'm, I'm just so happy, like it's such a nice day, the sun is shining, I've got my first sword, first sword of the season, um, but yeah I'm, I'm happy, did it make you emotional Cor? Well, did you sick, cry? I felt sick and then I cried. Did you cry? I felt sick and Don't I tell cried. me you cried. Cry, yeah. <laughs> oh. Love him. So now I think I'm going to take some photos to memorise the occasion and hopefully Cora's going to let me eat. Do you reckon, Cora? Cool? <laughs> 
quick wardrobe change. Got my medal on though. Going for a Nandino's, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Gonna go for a Nando's, gonna enjoy it and enjoy the rest of the evening and chill. Because tomorrow I'm back on the Stairmaster, back on diet, because we got more shows to win. Yup, yup. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been a really good day. It's not, do what's really nice. I just think from a mental perspective, like, it's a really nice morale boost. And do you know what? Like, without sounding all philosophical and weird, it, it good things come to those who deserve it and who work hard. And I can say, like, without sounding a little bit breachy, like, I've worked really hard. And I think last year, last year was really difficult and I got injured and I wanted to step on stage and I couldn't. And I think that actually... Yeah, I think that... It was actually a blessing in disguise not being able to get on stage last year and not being able to do what we originally set out to do made me go and improve more, made me appreciate what I was doing and made me really want it and I think we've been able to just solely concentrate on that this year and like already it's been so, so, so rewarding I think and it's been really, really enjoyable. So we're going to go and celebrate and have a nice time and then back on the Stairmaster in the morning for the next three shows lined up yep that is the plan so i'll show you what i eat it's pretty standard and pretty boring i eat the same thing every single time but maybe that's why i'm a good bodybuilder because i'm consistent <laughs> anyway um <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a yes are you gonna give me a yes on that one yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we are the overall champ my butterfly chicken with my sword. Yup, yup. Take it in there. How do you feel? I feel pretty fucking good to be there. Is it? I feel accomplished. I forgot do, about my give chest me the, Give me the hair flick. Give me the hair flick. No, the other way. Bring the heat. This is what you do when you win an overall. How's that taste? It's good as he did last week, actually. <laughs> All the chips. All the chips. You're going to look like a chip. Yeah. You happy? Yeah? Good girl. Okay. Proud of you, B. Love you. Back in my natural habitat. I've got a very red face because I've just scrubbed off all of my tan. But we're going to chill now. I've got a muffin. Me and Corey are going to have a muffin each. We're going to watch... Work so hard today. <laughs> We're going to watch Top Boy. And I've just arranged my little trophies in the old cabinet. We've got my Pro Tiara. We've got my GBO Pro overall Tiara. And we've got my first place medal from today. And we've got my overall sword from today. Yo! Looking good, that core. Cool. Happy days. Bring the fucking heat. The fucking heat. Peace out. Until next, time. Until next time. Until the next show. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>